To set up the React Native Navigation, first of all, we have to open our browser and search React Native Navigation. So let's type React Native Navigation. Once you search React Native Navigation, you will see reactnavigation.org website. You have to click on that. Once you click that, you will see you have to click on Read Docs. After that, you have to scroll down and you can see one command npm install React Navigation Native. You have to copy this command after that open your terminal and if you are running your server already so you have to stop your server by just pressing the control c just press the command whatever the command you had copied and press enter npm install react navigation native it will install this package once you install that package again you have to go back to the browser you have to scroll down after that you have to copy this command npm install react native screen react native safe area context if you are using expo for the development uh, so you can use this one but we are using cli so you have to copy this command again and just paste that command and hit enter so it will install the react native screen and react native safe area context after that again go back to the browser and you have to click on react navigation as you can see that here we are having uh, another package that is called react navigation native stack copy this command open your terminal paste this command and hit enter so it will install the react navigation native stack okay now we have set up the stack like we have installed all the necessary package or all the necessary library for the react native navigation so let me summarize it what once more what we had done first we went to the react navigation website we click on this website after that we click on read docs once we click on read docs we have installed this package that is called react navigation native after that we install the package react native screen and react native safe area context after that we click on next and we install the react navigation native stack package to set up the react native stack navigation all right now how to set up the react native stack navigation so you can see that if you scroll below so you can see a reference code here what we are doing first of all here inside the root component we are returning a navigation container inside the navigation container we are having a stack navigator code all right and inside that stack navigation we are having a stack dot screen we are defining the screen name and the component all right now let's add now let's do in our code as well so first of all let's open the app on android okay now i'm gonna get rid of this whole code quickly okay now this inside the view i'm gonna get rid of this view and i'm gonna import navigation container navigation container from the react navigation native all right now let me make it much more smaller because you guys can see if now this is looking perfect and let me you know make it smaller as well now as you can see that we are returning a navigation container as they have mentioned on this uh, reference documentation after that we have to use stack.navigator to use the stack.navigator first of all we have to initialize a cons stack let's go back to the code and here we have to write cons stack stack is equal to create native stack navigator create native stack navigator all right so as you can see that we have imported the we have in slice a stack and the value uh, we are getting it from create native stack navigator all right now again if you go to the browser we have to use stack dot navigator all right now let's go back and here we have to write stack dot navigator like this and inside this we can define our screen so i'm gonna write stack dot screen like this and it's gonna to take two props the first props is called name so i'm gonna name, write name is called home screen all right and the, we have to pass the component so component will be name will be home screen so let's create a one component so first of all in the root directory i'm going to create another folder that is called source folder src inside the source folder i'm going to create another folder that is called screen inside the screen i'm going to create another file that is called home screen dot jsx dot jsx as you know we are using this es7 snippet code so we can just write r and f e s to create a react native functional default style sheet component all right now we have because you can see that it's first of all we had uh, created an arrow function inside that arrow function we are 
having a view and inside the text uh, we are having a home screen text and we are exporting default this component all right now we have to import this component here so first of all i'm gonna paste the component name home screen once i uh, paste the component name we have to also import that home screen because you can see that property home screen doesn't exist so let's import this component so as you can see that we had imported the home screen component and we can see the home screen here all right so this is how we set up the stack navigator you can also follow this video you can just copy this code and you can just paste this code as well if you don't want to write this code but i write this code for you to make it much more beginner friendly to understand the whole code all right so let me summarize it once more quickly for you guys first of all we download we install the all the necessary library as we have seen that after that we had in slice one variable that is called const stack and stack value is create native stack navigator we are calling a function that is called create native stack navigator and we had imported it from the react navigation native stack after that we had wrap our uh, root component with the navigation container basically we are returning a now navigation container inside the navigation container we have uh, defined a stack dot navigator like stack dot screen is home screen and we have defined the component as well all right and this is how we set up the stack navigation now i don't want to show this you know home screen header to get rid of this header what we can do inside the stack navigation we have one property that is called screen options and inside the screen options we have to again write another brackets another curly braces and it's, uh, we have to open this brackets and you have to write header shown property as you can see the i guess suggestion header shown property and we have to make it false to be if you don't want to show the header all right so this is how we set up the react native stack navigation and react native navigation first of all we have set up the react native navigation after that we had set up the stack navigator all right now let's go to the home screen and after that what we gonna do we have to create this home screen this category so first of all we need some we need some data like this all right and we need some kind of ui so let's do that <laughs> 